Good morning. It is Saturday. Saturday. It's going to be a busy day. It's Saturday. Okay. Ooh, that song that just came to me. I don't know. I, what is that? I want to hear that funky Dixie lady. Something, something, something by the hand. Anywho. Any Uzi. Let's do... Let's do current energy. Let's see. 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 I believe it's the 17th, right? 18th? Ooh, this month is freaking flying by. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. I want to hear that funky Dixie Life mm -hmm, that take me by the hand. Ooh. Ooh, I actually do know that song. I was placing it as like folk music, but it's so not. So I'm singing it not necessarily at a tune. Huh. Now we all interpret, we all interpret music differently, right? But like, I don't know. We got the lovers, all right? So you, you got a decision. To me, it's your heart chakra, all right? So it's like making choices from your heart, deeply emotional commitments, the power of love. Isn't that a song? The power of love. I'm singing it wrong, but there is, there is, yeah. I mean, how could there not be? <laughs> How could there not be? Whoa, I can't take four of you. This is a divided, a divided, whoa, okay, guided partnership. All right. It, it's all, it's, it's like, obviously you can talk of choices, but to me, you already know. You already image that. It's already etched. It's, it, it's, I don't know solutions, huh? Um, it, it's I don't know if it's fantasy. Time to put it into action. Like too much. No, it's never too much fantasy, right? But like, it's like trying to put it into words. So if you do have a choice, there is whatever's going down. Um, make sure you speak from your heart. You make your decisions from your heart. You know, there's always sad decisions you got to make from the heart. But then there's exciting ones too. There's something rapid here. The Emperor. Stability, efficiency, take charge of the situation. So, it, it's basically saying the Emperor needs to take charge. He could be dealing with an Aries, Gemini, doesn't matter. I want to feel the funky something, something, dun, 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 by the hand. So I don't know if they have a choice, they made the choice, they already know. Now it's time to get a grip of it, right? Like take charge be ambitious be be ambitious although I because it's ambitious right but it took me back to my cheerleading days where it would be aggressive be be aggressive so emperor energy can be aggressive but this is like it's not like grr. how'd I do grr. <laughs> whoa it's like five yeah
someone's heart chakra. It's probably activated, but not, it's not in the right space. I mean, it is and it's not. I know you're probably like, huh? I just saw a whole bunch of blue. I just saw a whole bunch of blue. Maybe it's someone's favorite color. Or maybe somebody's feeling blue. Well, there's a whole bunch of blue. Okay. But this is a massive life change. Okay, so it's like the Emperor is sitting in energy here. Here's the deal. This came out over weekend energy too, the, the Five of Michael, which we can read in, in Five of Swords, which we can read in a whole bunch of different ways. But it's like the situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to an outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach, right? So it's like you are ambitious. You are seeing something. You, you do know something. It's clear as day. But it's like being torn, okay? This is also the Emperor's energy right now, okay? So they're trying to get a control of their own energy but they're thinking more in a negative way versus a positive way and i, I mentioned that over weekend energy you got you got an optimist and a pessimist on the board okay the pessimist is not a bad thing it's it's just um the their way of thinking is you never know what can happen in the future you know where you got the other energy where it's like the universe is yours like no need to to think that way so you you got a you got a spiritual connection here right but it's like somebody is more of a practical thinker you know been through a lot of ups and downs painful situations in their life they make the best of it but because of those very precautionary energy precautionary is that a word i don't know it's quotes word i think it's a word but um and the other one's just like, whoop de -woo. you know, like, don't think like that. Why are you thinking like that? Like, that's what makes, that's what stops and blocks, you know? So that bird does have a very controlling demeanor right now because A, it's the emperor, right? And, and they're attached to the five of swords. Now, in the weekend energy, this is getting them, they are getting past this, Right? But it's like wanting to do it their way. Like there's an energetic sh shift. Like it's almost like they're trying to control the energy. And, and it's like in this situation where there's such a bond, it's, it's what came to me. It's, it's bullshit. You, you don't. You don't bullshit this type of energy. You don't bullshit this type of love. You don't bullshit this type of feeling. You go with it. You work on it. You push through it. You talk about it, right? So the next one that came out with this is change your life. A sudden revolution that makes, that offers freedom, a breakthrough from procrastination, embrace the opportunity. So it's almost saying like, if there is another lover, okay, someone's within a household, boyfriend, long-term girlfriend, however it works for you, is somebody from the past is, is going to stroll back around or you're going to meet someone new. It's that simple, right? This is a destined connection. So it's like the opportunity is here, if, especially if somebody walked back in or they came towards you, right? Because this is a massive shift. Life changing. All right. So, and again, I believe in the weekend energy. It was like these two are connected to purple. Now, apparently you still are. Okay. So, just a little something I picked up on. Um, so it's, it's a big change, right? And you got the page of Gabriel at the bottom of the deck. It's about, it's that energetic energy I was feeling, being brave, being optimistic, right? Playful, going after it, follow your passions. You're ready for this challenge. You're ready to take it on. So there's definitely an opportunity to take on something new 
you do this person I'm talking to, they do know what type of connection this is. It's, it's given. It's just a matter of what type of energy do you want to put in it? And right now, the type of energy that's going towards this connection is the five of Michael, which, you know, isn't cool. You know, because it, it, it is the emperor <sighs> torn, but knowing the right move, but not making it necessarily or not putting enough effort into it. Or I just got, is it too much effort? Is it not enough effort? Right. But it's like, they need to break free from this, from this. So like, they're still energetically connected to other scenarios still in their life. So this is kind of controlling, they're trying to control the energy, but it, it's like the universe is saying, go after what your heart is telling you, what you know. There's an opportunity for a change here. Which life do you want? Do you want your current life with this energy? Or do you want the life of when you think of something, it makes you happy? It's going to take work. Nothing's easy. You know, a lot of people say, you know, true love and this and that, you know, because that's true love. You know, it should be easy. That's such bullshit. It's such bullshit. It gets easy when when the two of you decide to push through. You don't You don't give up with that type of love. But obviously this is not two people working on love together. It's one person trying to make the decision, but it's like they already kind of made the decision. They see it. They know they can change their lives. So they, the emperor completely knows. They don't, they don't know the outcome yet, but they know who they should be with. They know it's, it's a destined situation. Chances are you're dealing with a masculine that's somewhat spiritual. You know, you got the devil with the magician. That's a whole lot of, that's a whole lot of attraction, passion. You know, this energy has every tool to do it. They can, they're more than capable of having a new life. So it's really a decision. Do you want to stay in the life you're in now or do you want a new one? And this is more than just a mental battle. This is trying to control an energy, and it's there's no need to. There's no need. You gotta make decisions from your heart. You gotta soften your heart. Tell me about the lovers. Yeah, see, it's like you're holding on to something that's dead. That's why this is here. You're holding on to something that no longer serves you. Period. It's also telling me you know how to make shifts. You you know how to be adventurous. You know how to be spontaneous. You like that type of energy. Because I'm also getting this energy of like, this definitely is linked to the masculine, but it's almost like the feminine too. Like you're linked to somebody who wipes the slate clean. They don't dwell on the past. They move forward. They work through things. They're an optimist. You like that type of energy. They don't hold on to jack shit. You got a powerful woman here. Um, but besides that, you're also holding on to a relationship that is dead. It is done. And I know that seems harsh, but you obviously know that. So you could be holding on to money or pain, a relationship for money. You do got the two of pens right here too, with the emperor being reversed, the death card. See, like refusing, refusing to make the decision, refusing to absolutely, you know. Um, it's like, this, this is linked to money too. You, I also feel like you're the king, right? Like you're in a situation where it, it's, it's all money. You're being manipulated by someone. And it's not the one where 
it would be the divine connection. There's no freaking way. Because they're giving you an opportunity to change your life. You got to release this. Somebody you're holding on to is manipulating the situation. Whether it's you or them. Because you're trying to manipulate energy right now. But it's like, why are you doing that? This is the bigger problem. I don't even need to, I was going to clarify that. I don't even need to clarify that. That's clear as day. Holding on to something that is dead. Dead weight. Tell me about the emperor. Obviously there was love at one point. I know I say that a lot, but it's true. You're not with somebody because you don't. At one point there was, there was love. There was children. There was finances. Something, right? But it's like you're still holding on to energy. And because you're holding on to that is why you're doing this. You got, you got true love here and you, you probably don't know what to do with it. But that's kind of a lousy excuse. You got to trust and you know you're being guided. That's just it. <clears throat> but I don't know. It's like, how are you going to make the right decisions? How can you make the right decisions? How can you change your life? You want it. It's here. It's in your energy. How can you make these type of decisions when it comes to, to someone else? You're just going to sit here and fantasize when you can take action on it? You could be exhausted at work, too too much going on at work they're asking you to do way too much stuff but besides that you know it's clear as day you're holding on to a dynamic that's just it's no good for you or them the only reason why you guys would be in it right now is family children or money period not love and clearly you had to have wished for love it's that simple You've probably been wishing for it your whole life or you've recently made a wish. Something went down where you're getting what you want, but you're not letting go. You're not going after what you, what you want. Thank you. Lay down, baby. Lay down right now. Come on, do something. Lay down. Alana? Alana? Can you shut my door? I'm doing a video. Thank you. Lay down, Luce. What'd you do? What? Let Kessel in? Stop doing that. Okay, so let's move on to the Emperor. Hi, Cassie. That definitely flipped. Oh, it didn't, but it wanted to. I think it was the Empress. Yeah, so. Tell me about the Emperor. Lonnie, can you grab loose? I didn't know she wanted to come. You got the five of the coin reversed. So, yeah, see. So, it's almost like you know you're not going to miss a scenario. But there's some type of scenario that, that's still sad. You're still, you're getting out of the uncomfortable situation slowly but surely you are trying you are worried about you know leaving a situation you do got the fool right here but like it's like you're on solid ground right it's like just letting go let go you already got a taste of your happiness you're smelling the rose you so you know who this person is so or you just want to taste for new life. Nah, it's, it's the lovers. So that's as clear as day. It looks like with the Ten of Wands, you're going to put the weight down. Okay, so it looks like it's almost like you made this decision already. So you know what you want and you know what you want to go after. But like you're still not out of it. So I hope that makes sense to you. It's like leaving, just say someone's married. Leaving a marriage. Okay. Um... You haven't left yet. 
even though you already made the decision to move forward. But because you haven't left the scenario or made it clear to this one or this one, it is you're stuck here. Tell me about the five of Michael. So energetically, you're trying to control energy, but there's there is no need. That's what you need to break through. So you got something to say, say it. You got nothing to say, then don't say it. This is inevitable. I hate to say it. That's like, ugh, I fucking hate it. Like, ugh, it's that, ugh, it's ugh, it's that I told you so shit, and I hate that. I hate it because it's not about that. No one should ever be telling anyone, I told you so. So unless you're joking around like, mm, I told you so. I told you my dinner would be better than yours. You know, like that. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. All right. So like, I don't know what that's forgotten. Maybe there's jealousy. Because it's never, I told you so. That is straight up fucking smug. It pisses me off, actually. Don't ever be that person. Karma will always take care of karma. I don't know if that's coming from the feminine, but if that's the case, this relationship will not work. You don't ever throw anything in anyone's face like that. It's wrong. Oh, I'm frustrated. If you're that person that is telling this person, I told you so, your relationship will not work. Period. It won't. Karma's going to bite you in the ass. Because they're going through a life-changing situation. Could you be too? Yeah, but we're not talking about you or vice versa. We're talking about the one person that needs to leave a situation that's obviously hard, obviously hard, and it looks like they are, right? But it's like they're still, they're still in the energy of, of this because of this too. Or well, because they're not saying something. It does look like they could actually be mad at the other lover that they know they're connected to. Because it's almost like, what if you did say something to them? Because it came out of me, right? So what if you did say something like this? It's not going to work. It's it's going down. Like, it's possible that you did. Or if you didn't, they're thinking it's going to be like, oh, she told me so. And that could be giving them that energy, which is shitty. Because, again, they're, they're putting that in their head. Or they're mad at you that something fell apart because you stepped in. They know it's destiny, but they're blaming you. That would suck, too. Because ultimately, it's on the universe. Ultimately, this emperor made a wish. Ultimately, they wanted something in their life that they're getting. So if they're putting the blame on someone else, shame on the emperor. You get to a certain point in life where, you know, your, your love, your heart just flows. You won't have this type of energy so no matter who this is to you whether you're cross watching or it's you patience is required but so isn't teamwork and communication try if you try if you say you're gonna try because you you could get in an argument with somebody today next couple days And maybe at that point, you know, they're feeling like shit. Like, is it over? Uh, are we back to square one? Are we going to repeat a cycle? Because I think this one's attached to the, 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 the true lover. This is energy where you just got to let it play out. Obviously, it's guided. It's divided. So if they're holding on to something or something needs to be done or something, it's... it's it will be. You know, I just, I hope you're really not that person saying, I told you so, because that's awful. Tell me about the five of, five of swords. So they're holding on to a situation that doesn't serve them. It could be them, or it's just the negativity that they're holding on onto. If someone's holding on to energetic energy, trying to control the energy, trying to get energy to come to them, vice versa. You know what I mean? Like, so something's in their hand, but it's like, Damn, that is not necessary at all. 
so they're 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 see it you know ten of pence reversed so yeah you could be staying in, in in a marriage or a relationship because of money family right but it's like get out of it or you're all up in your head because leaving this type of family dynamic look at all the money it's it's money it's linked to money someone's in a relationship for money financial needs financial purposes point blank him and her so if they're married the wife and the husband are both in a situation for money that's it not love not anything else period you could have grown-ass children because these are grown-ass children and you're still trying to set an example but you're not setting an example if you're not truly following your heart that's a lousy example and karma will repeat itself within the family you can break that cycle yeah see within the household but it's like there's no movement within the household like it's it's dead there's there's nothing in this household that is beneficial for you period but you're staying there because of money. And it's not like I'm staying there until I, I move or I figure out something. No. You're not letting go of a situation because of money. Tell me about changing your life. So something's not completely over yeah. King of Swords not, not taking the initiative to leave the family. But here's the thing. Whomever this lover is, is pretty damn special. They need to pick up and leave the household. And maybe this is what they're about to do. You know? See, it's almost like they can't be with a certain lover. Something can't go in their direction. This is all... Look at all this money. King of Pence reverse. This is this is all money. Someone's staying in a situation for money and some people, you know, they do that. Who who are you to, to say they they shouldn't or something? If somebody truly, truly loves you and wants to be with you and wants to work it out, this will all flip and go in the right direction but it's on this person to make that decision because right now they are not taking the initiative they know the opportunity is here they're worried about money okay that's it it takes it takes money to get out of a situation and it takes money to build a new one and this person is fixated on that because right now they don't want to they might have another woman in their ear. Like I said, a Queen of Swords would be a manipulating energy in 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 their ear. You know, but it's like you guys are in it for the wrong reason. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm sorry I had to deliver that type of energy to you. Um it looks like this person especially when I just cut the deck, it does look like this person might take themselves out of a scenario that doesn't have much love and come right towards you. Okay, so it's like, it still looks like something will pan out. If it's destiny, it's it's destiny. But like, I feel like this energy would be linked to the other lover that's connected. Right now, it is and it's not. Like right now, it's talking about the family dynamic, right? But like, they know I got you, babe. There's something beautiful here. I got you, babe. They gotta get rid of this. And then they have this. And this is special. So, right now someone's like, ooh, they could be arguing with the husband, the wife. Tell me about the lovers and, and changing your life. Seven of Wands right there. That came out yesterday. Stand up for what you believe and have confidence and claim your power. The Emperor can do that. That's what they're being asked to do. Maybe they just need to wrap up stuff that's going on in the family dynamics. It just didn't look like a wrap. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. It didn't look like a wrap. You know, you got the sun. Look at that purple. Life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking. Like I said, you got an optimist, you got a pessimist. It's, hey, it is what it is. No no judgment. Some people get through life being a pessimist because if they can look at the negative side of a situation, they could actually solve other equations with certain stuff, right? So maybe it has to do with, with work. Like this is an experience. It's love. It's, it's a different type of experience for you guys. Right? At the bottom of the deck, make a wish. Yeah, because you, like, but you already did. So it's like, your wish is here. 
And you got the Queen of Cups right there too. Follow your heart. A love of a home and a family. Trustworthy psychic information. You could be dealing with a psychic too. But this is this is a dream come true. And you got the best card in the deck, which is the sun. You know, this truly is a wish come true. It is true love that was guided. It's a guided unity. Not, not easy moves, right? But the rest of your life, because it's life changing, the rest of your life is just dream after dream after dream. It's one of those things where it's like you wake up next to each other and it's like you're just happy. Everyone has ups and downs, but this really is that type of union. This is not for everyone, but I really hope it's for a lot of you. And right now you're just going through a really tough time. But this type of connection, it's it's so special. And if you are trying to work through something with someone and you're the other lover and you guys are communicating, be honest with each other. Try. I love you guys. Have a fantastic Saturday. Bye.